Hi, you guys. It's Mel Baby. I'm back with another cooking video. So, this the pig feet video, I promised y'all. See that? That's that's my seasoning that I'm going to put in the pot. I'm uh I'm not going to chop it on camera. I'm just showing you just like the fresh and the one dry herb that I'm using in this dish. And I'm only using this small amount because I only have four pig feet. And um, I only have four pig feet because, like I said, I'm just doing this video to show y'all how I do my pig feet. Um, after I chop this up, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show y'all how I put it in the pot and whatnot. See right there, I have some leftover roux. So sorry, guys. This won't be the video where I show y'all how to make roux. But it's coming soon. Okay, I'll be back. All right, y'all, I done chopped up my seasoning, uh, and I'm about to put it in the pot. Uh, I just put a little layer down there on the bottom. I knew it. I knew it. There go the bay leaf. I knew it. 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 They're going to play the pig feet. Just throw them in now. Damn, I guess I got to touch them. Okay. Let me get rid of that glove. And, um... You know what? I'm going to come in here with my seasoning. That's a teaspoon and a half of Tony Sachery. Uh, spice, more spice, um, a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of total seasoning, um, a teaspoon of salt. Really, it's not a whole teaspoon of salt. It's something like maybe three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. And I put all that in there. And, um, now I'm going to put the rest of my seasoning in there. Nah, I'm going to come in now. I told y'all I got the root. Um, my last pressure cooker, they didn't like you to put a thickening agent in there. But that's what root is. So I'm going to try and see if this one is different. And I'm going to put some root in there before I start cooking it. There go the root. I don't put the grease in there. Matter of fact. I'm going to put a grease in the bowl. You see that? That's a, you see that good little amount? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it in some hot water. Here you go. That's the hot water. That's just to loosen it up, to start it into a gravy. And um, once I get it stirred up and loose, I'm going to add it to the, pot, to the pot. This is not going to be the only liquid I put in there, doing. And, um, okay, it's stirred up. It's gravy-like. But I'm not worried about that because it will uh, dissolve in the pot. As you see, there's still some root right there. It's not soft. And... I'm just going to put a little more extra water in there. Yeah, that's enough. I just want enough to somewhat cover it. Well, not even cover it because it doesn't need that much water. I'm cooking this in, this in my pressure cooker. So I'm putting the top on it. Okay, it's locked in. And um, let's see. Let's set this. Hmm. Cook. I want to dress my adjust my pressure to thirty. And let's see what the cook time is now. No, I want it to cook more than twelve minutes. 
25. There's only four of them. So there is set 25 at 30. And the pressure is building up. And um, as it builds up, it's going to lock. And it's going to steam or uh, pressure cook it. I'll be back in the 25 minutes. Well, it's going to be more than 25 minutes. It's probably going to be something like maybe 40 minutes because the pressure has to build up. And it takes it about 15 minutes or so to build up. And I'll be back to show you my end result. Okay, I'm back. It stopped. Um, move your hand. Now, see right there? Maybe not because my finger in the way. I'm going to see if they got some more pressure in it. It don't. And um, I'm going to open it. Lift it up. Ah. Oh, look at them pig feet. Huh. Hold up here. Hold that. See? They look good, but guess what? They're not tender. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip that over for one because that's where the meat and stuff at. I'm going to flip that over, and I'm going to go in with maybe 20 more minutes. All right, later. All right, that's them 20 minutes. Well, it's longer than that, but that's the 20 minutes that it done cooked the 20 minutes. Gotta watch yourself with the steam when you take the top off. Now let's see. Oh yeah, they done now. Oh man. They done. I'ma play them. And I'ma uh I'ma come back and show you. Really I can't really play them because I don't have no rice right now. So, uh, I'm going to just put the top on it and keep it on to keep warm set. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. That's my plated result of the pig feet. They're all nice and tender. And that's the way they're supposed to be. In the pressure cooker, it took me a total of 45 minutes to get them to the tenderness I wanted them but if I did this on the stove it took me all day or at least two to three hours constantly boiling well that's my plated pig feet and um come back for more videos um thanks for watching comment like subscribe and share with anyone you like have a good one